Hi, I'm Tony, one of the co-founders of PigBrig, and we're going to take a little bit of time to talk about um, folks that have interest in trailering pigs, which is primarily in Texas, and how do we adapt our trap system to ensure that you can safely and effectively transfer pigs from within the trap into your trailer. So what we want to try to cover is how to adapt our trap system for trailering pigs in a way that's safe and effective. And so you can just get standard hog panel and or if you have your custom chute, a lot of people make their own chutes, and we're attaching that to one of the T-posts that abuts where the seam is. We simply strap this panel to the T-post and then we're affixing the panel to the wall of the net to ensure that it creates a closed system uh, on this edge. Once your carabiners are connected going down the edge of the panel, you're going to want to loosen this cam strap is your standard mid post cam strap that's three to four inches from the post. You're going to want to loosen that to create some slack in the net wall before you attach your second panel. Before we connect a second panel as we did the first, we need to take tension off our top border rope in order to release the seam. So we simply attach the hook from the, care, from the cam strap, we connect it to the adjoining T-post cam strap hook where the seam is, and then we just pull that tight. And you'll see that takes all the tension off of the top rope. So when we release that to open the seam, this takes over the integrity of the trap system by maintaining the hoop strength. Okay, the first step before you connect your second panel is you're gonna have to release the mid post cam strap. And as we did on the other side, you loosen that end. This one needs to be removed, otherwise the seam can't completely open. So this just comes off and we have to make sure we remove it because we have to be able to free up the bore shield as we remove the cable as our subsequent step. We've got the cam strap attached, we've disconnected the mid post cam strap, and now we're gonna secure our second panel. We want to make sure as we engage the netting we stay on the distant side of the seam so it does not get entangled. We've got our cam strap for the top that needs to be secured and there's a matching one on the lower section that ensures that the bottom of the panel does not get kicked out. As you'll see on your net, there's carabiners that run down the distant side of the seam. We're going to individually connect those to the far end of your hog panel or your chute. Some people have their own custom chute. So, and we're just going to secure those going all the way down. And now this will create a impenetrable barrier and only allows pigs to go through the funnel. The last note is you'll see a cam strap on the bottom. It'll be attached to the same size as the carabiners. And the purpose of this is to pull this net down tight to the ground to ensure there's no gap on the bottom. Obviously keep mindful of pigs in the trap and that tightens. Now, you don't want that tightened all the way until we remove the strap and move the cable on the seam. So keep that with a little bit of flexibility until we remove that cable. All right, so now our panel's secured. It's been connected, uh, the end of it's been connected to the end of your base net. And now we can release the seam so that your pigs can exit into your trailer. So first, we want to disconnect our cable that maintains the seam on the bore shield and you can see that is now released. Then you're going to want to release the cable that's connecting the ends of your base net which will have a little tension on it 
but you should be able to pull that out and as that comes out you're going to see the bottom of the net start to disconnect And once this is free, we're gonna wanna just finish tightening up to ensure you have tension coming down and there's no gap here. Okay, so now this wall is secure and the only thing left keeping the trap enclosed is your top rope that's joined over the same post. So this is taking tension off it. You pull this off, and now you've got an opening where your pigs can exit right into your trailer. All right, so now you've seen the process by which we can open up a section of the trap, still maintain trap security. Um, some folks have mentioned that they want a narrower opening and that can simply be achieved even when you're doing setup. You could place a T-post. This is obviously six feet wide. You could place a T-post at the midpoint if your chute or your trailer gate is only three feet wide. You'd already have your T-post in place from when you set the trap and you would just connect your chute or your panel instead of to the functional T-post of the trap. You would just have it doing the exact same connection approach to your center T-post and then as you open your netting you will then have only a three foot wide gap to work with.